हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे भगवान सिंह देव की जय प्रहलाद महाराज की जय गौर मंदा परिक्रमा की जय शील गुरुदेव की जय दाय गो प्रेमानंदे हरि हरि बो सो दिस अ वेरी स्पेशल प्लेस प्लेस इन निशिंग देव निशिंग देव इज द मोस्ट फरोशियस फॉर्म ऑफ द लॉर्ड लॉर्ड नारायण in vaikuntha oh no anxiety in vaikuntha so no fighting but lord narayan he wants to taste all rasas so his very dear servants jai vijay they understood that the lord wants to fight but he can't fight here in vaikuntha so they made a special arrangement the lord also made a special arrangement and the four kumars came and they cursed jai vijay that you have to go to the material world and take birth as demons So they took took birth as demons in three births. First birth as Hiranyaksha, Hiranyakashipu. So Lord Brahadev he killed Hiranyak Hiranyaksha, younger brother of Hiranyakashipu. And then Hiranyakashipu became so angry, he performed great austerities to become immortal. And all the demigods became afraid. But Lord uh, Lord Narayan said, "Don't worry." This great demon he will begin to torture his wonderful son Prahlad my very dear devotee and when that time comes I will not tolerate So to cut a long story short Pradeep Khandelwal Prahlad Maharaj took birth sahi bhi ho aa jaye He was staying in his mother's womb he was staying with Narada Muni Mathura ke Pradeep Khandelwal So for so many hundreds of thousands of years he was hearing from Narada Muni aa jaye He was hearing from Narada Muni so by the time he took birth he was already pure devotee and his father didn't know this so one day his father took him on his lap he said oh my dear son what is the best of what you heard from school and Prahlad Maharaj started preaching to him my dear father i think it's time you took vana prasad and you went to Vrindavan and stop worshiping as time he started worshiping Vishnu So Nishinga uh, Hiranyakashipu became extremely angry. He said somehow or other these Vaishnavas have infiltrated my palace. And then he told Chandramarka, you take care of him, make sure the Vaishnavas don't get at him. So they took him away. And again he was learning at school. Again he came to his father and his father said, "Oh my dear son, Hiranyakashipu is so cruel." He even turned the laws of karma upside down. If somebody performed pious activity, he would get bad karma, and if somebody performed impious activity, he would get good karma. So horrendous personality. But with his young child, oh, he was so affectionate. Tears flowing down his cheeks. Oh, Prahlad, Prahlad, what is the best you learned in school? And Prahlad Maharaj said, "Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Pada Sevanam," and he began to outline the nine processes of bhakti. You have to take shelter. You have to take shelter of the Supreme Lord by taking shelter of a pure devotee. Hirani Kashipu went ballistic. He was so furious. In the end, Shandranaaka said, "Never mind. We'll take him to Gurukul. We'll brainwash him there." So they tried to brainwash him, but still he couldn't be brainwashed. And in the end, he started. All the young boys, they all started chanting Hari Krishna. They all became devotees. And Chandramarka, they became very, very anxious. They took him to Hirani Kashipu. Hirani Kashipu tried to kill Prahlad. In the end, he said, "I will personally kill him." Prahlad, where is your God? He said, "He's everywhere." Is he here in this pillar? Yes, he's here in this pillar. And then Hirani Kashipu is like big kung fu expert. And with his fist, he hit the column. Hey! And then out of the column came a most terrible sound. It had never been heard in the universe before. But we will get a brief sample now. And then from the pillar came the most astounding personality, half lion, 
half human being. Why? Because the Rani Kashipu had taken benediction. He couldn't be killed by any human being, by any animal, by any weapon, in daytime, in nighttime, on the land, in the sea, in the air. Hirani Kashipu came to destroy all the benedictions, so they had a fight. Hirani Kashipu was fighting with Nushingade. Nushingade was playing with him like Garuda plays with a snake. And in the end, he put him on his lap and he tore him to pieces. She Nushingade of a king. So after this, Nushingade was so angry, roaring. And all the demigods were terrified. Even Lakshmi, Lakshmi Devi, she'd never seen such a horrendous form of the Lord. The demigods came and they were trying to pacify the Lord, they couldn't pacify him. And in the end they pushed little Prahlad up and they said, you try and pacify him. So Prahlad came and he began to offer prayers to the Lord and the Lord immediately, his heart melted. He put Prahlad on his lap, like this, oh. And he was stroking his head with his hand, his paws, which are still bloody with the entrails of his father. And he was praising uh, Prahlad Maharaj. Hirani Kashipu wanted, Nushingade wanted Prahlad Maharaj to take benediction. Prahlad Maharaj wouldn't take. In the end he said, okay, please just give liberation to my father. Nushingade said, he's already liberated. For uh, even for Kanish Dadi Kari, seven generations forward, seven generations back, all liberated. Madi Madi Kari, 14. Automadi Kari, 21. He's already liberated. What then? So he said, then I want to take all the karma from all the living entities in the universe. I will stay here and they should, they should be liberated. He was such pure devotee, no desire for himself. So after that, uh, Nishingadev saw him crowned as king after Rani Kashipu. And then Nishingadev was a little tired, so he came to this place. And here he washed his bloody paws and took bath. And he stayed here for some time and all the demigods came. And Vishwakarma built beautiful palaces for them. And they stayed here and they worshipped Nishingadev for some time. And then finally Nishingadev went back to the spiritual world. So Nishingadev, he can kill the biggest demons. In our hearts there are big, big demons. But Nishingadev, Bhakti Vignas, Bhakti Vigna Vinas, Nishingadev, he will destroy all the demons in our heart, but we have to take shelter. Have to take shelter of him. So taking shelter of Prahlad Maharaj and Lord Nishingadev, we pray at their lotus feet, pray to Prahlad Maharaj, and he'll pray to Nishingadev on our behalf, that Nishingadev will uproot all the horrible, dirty, rotten things in our hearts and enable us to proceed straight on the path of bhakti following in the footsteps of our beloved Gurudev and all our acharyas. Shri Prahlad Nishingadev Ki Jai! Shri Gurudev Ki Jai! Gaurmanda Prikrama Ki Jai! Jai Gopriminande! Hare Krishna!